Hey gang, today I'm going to teach you the strategies for winning at 8-ball. So let's go through these different strategies one at a time. And at the end of this video, you may need to watch it a couple times to have everything sink in. But at the end of this video, you should be a better 8-ball player than you are today. The focus of this video is primarily on beginner and intermediate players along with high intermediates. But I think advanced players can get something out of this as well, even if it's just one or two tips. So the first thing that you want to do when you go into an eight ball match is have a plan. Most people, their plan is to break the balls and just shoot them and try to make them uh, before their opponent makes their set of balls. But you should have a strategy. If you're playing a high rank player and you're a lower rank player, you, your strategy might be to play a lot of safes. It might be to just frustrate the, the other player into having to play a long game. High rank players love to run out. So if you're an APA 3 and you're playing an APA 7, a soft break, a lot of clusters, things like that are going to help you win because it will, number one, frustrate your opponent. And number two, uh, it will slow down the game and give him a lot of opportunities to make a stupid mistake so keep in mind that you should go in with a strategy number two is to win the lag winning the break is important in eight ball so winning the lag is important as well I did a whole segment of a video on how to win the lag but basically what you want to do is use a hard tip you're going to um, most often use your break cue if it has a hard tip on it which it should, you're going to think in terms of not coming as close as you can to the rail, but touching the rail. You're also are going to hit the ball that you're going to use for your lag high, as if you're doing a follow shot. And the other thing that you really need to do if you want to win more lags is practice the lags and practice them on the table that you're going to be playing on. So your second thing is win the lag. Then once you've won the lag, we can talk about breaking. And it's basically two breaks in eight ball. This one that you see on the screen where we're playing the second ball. And if you saw my video on pattern racking, you learned how to send all the low balls to one end of the table and all the high balls to the other end of the table, which is what you see on screen. And this is something that involves you being able to rack the balls as well. But it's a video worth checking out if you haven't done so already. In most cases, you're going to be using a relatively head-on break and just break the balls well, uh, spreading them out across the table. And then uh, from there, you're going to have to decide whether you're going to take high or low balls. So your choice is going to be very important in your winning of eight ball games. So you've won the lag, you've broken the balls, and now you have to choose the right balls. Take your time, analyze the table. Don't just jump on the set that has the easiest shot. Jump on the set that is going to run you out. The next thing we're gonna look at is problem solving. Solve your problems early. You guys have heard me say this in so many eight ball videos. Here we have the high balls and we have a problem in that there's two balls clustered on our right hand side so what do we do we play the nine with a draw even though there were easier shots on the table so that we could break that cluster up it might take us three or four opportunities to get to that cluster so start out early and solve your problems on the table early also when running out you are going to try it doesn't always work out this way but you're going to try to clear one end of the table and then the other end of the table. Now keep in mind that breaking up your clusters, solving your problems, anything on a rail, anything on a short rail especially, anything that's clustered up, anything that's blocking a pocket from you, uh, making other balls, these are all problem situations you want to solve early. But outside of solving those problems, you want to Think in terms of running one half of the table and then the other if you have that opportunity. The other thing you want to have is a key ball. 
Now, in this video, I just shot what I wanted to be my cue ball because I got such bad position on that 10 ball shot. But now that 10 ball becomes my cue ball. But when you're shooting off balls at 8 ball, you should think about which ball you're going to shoot right before the 8. It's not going to be the ball that's closest to the 8. It's going to be the ball that is most likely to allow you to get to the 8 ball. The next thing that we're going to look at is playing intelligent safes. 8 ball players just simply do not play enough safeties. So here we have a situation where we can make the 10 ball, but we have the 9 and the 14 at the other end of the table, and we can't very easily make the 10 and break up that cluster and get on the 9 and the 14. So here's another situation. What we're doing here is playing the 13 ball into our cluster. We break up our cluster and we block the other player from having an easy shot. Now obviously these exact scenarios aren't going to come up in your games, but it's something I want you to think about. If you have an opportunity to break up your problem shots, that cluster was a problem situation, if you can break up your problems and leave your opponent safe at the same time, it's better than just making a ball. We could easily made that 11 ball in the corner pocket, but it doesn't get us on the 9 and the 14 and it doesn't break up our cluster. So think in terms of intelligent safeties. All of these things wrapped up, have a plan, win the lag, win the break, make an intelligent choice as to which balls you take after the break, solve your problems early, split up the pattern of the table, shoot one end and then the other, have a good key ball strategy. I have a video all about finding the right key ball and playing it properly so you can run out and playing safeties. Make sure you're putting all of these things into effect and you're going to win more games of 8-ball. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Make sure you guys are subscribing if you haven't already subscribed and hit that little bell so you know we, when we post a new video. And if there's anything you guys like to see, let me know. Have a great day and thank you very much for watching.